up, guys? Army Fire Dog back, and unfortunately, my week with the Zeinheiser IE800 flagship IEM is over, and I must say, these are ones I will miss dearly. Um, but let's figure out why I like these so much. So, of course, I always start with construction, and these are built wonderfully well. Um, very similar to the Klipsch X7Is. They are made of a ceramic body, so not only do they look nice, they stay very cool in the ear, so they won't get hot over time. So in addition to staying cool in your ear, it also has an angled design horn. I don't know how well this will pick up, but that helps the comfort to keep by keeping pressure off of your tragus, which does wonders. I've kept these in my ears for a couple hours on end, just getting drifted away into the music. Also, I know that they're very lightweight. Like, I forget these are in my ear completely. I mean, they just weigh nothing. A real quick downside, though, on the horn is if you see how small it is, you, I'm almost have to use the silicone tips that come with it. I prefer comply tips, personally, because it form fits to my ear, and that comfort factor does a lot. And with these, every time I put the them in my ear with the complies, I have to dig them out of my ears, which is nice. Also, if you go to the back, the vent ports add just a really nice touch to it, and it really makes me think of a high-end, like a tower speaker. Every time I look at these, um, like and they're just some of the most beautiful IEMs I have ever seen. Moving down to the cable, the cable is very well made. It doesn't, I don't feel it like fray at all. And they went one step further, is it's also detachable right here. The rest of the cable is from your unboxing video is this bundle here. So if you were to snag it on something, you're not you don't have to worry about replacing the whole eight hundred dollar uh, monitor, which also that's what these go for. These retail for seven ninety nine ninety nine from the website. I'll definitely put a link to them in the description box down below. Definitely check them out. I highly recommend these. But if these were to get snagged on something, they'll either break away or push come shove. They do break. You can easily buy a new cable from their website and their accessories tab. A downside to the cable, however, the first is that is in the detachability and that is down here. If a cable is going to be detachable, from personal experience I've learned, if it's not on the monitor itself, I mean, yeah, it's great to be down here but it is nowhere near as convenient of being actually on the monitor. The second part is, is it's kind of short. This with the cable is only about, hmm, maybe about this long. So I usually have my phone in my back pocket or in my side pocket when I'm walking around. So when I have, when I'm walking, these barely accommodate my, that, that length right there. Now moving down to the comfort, the comfort on these is very, very nice. I still wish, again, I'll reiterate, I wish I could put my complies on here, but I'm stuck using the silicones provided. And unfortunately, none of the silicone tips, despite the vast assortment you get with these, they just didn't work out for me. But not once during that time frame did I get ear fatigue. But not once during that week did my ears get tired with these in my ears, which does say a lot. Now. Finally, there is the sound quality of them. These are so stunning. These are almost precisely what I look for in a sound. They're very neutral. They're amazingly accurate, but they have just a nice hint of warmth to them, which brings a nice sensuality to it, or it's just a calming, relaxing sound, but without sacrificing any of the detail. The soundstage on these is actually pretty impressive to be an IEM. Most IEMs I'm experienced with don't have that vast of a soundstage, and but these actually these are pretty nice with respect to being an inner monitor. But the main aspect that I just blew me away is the separation. These I could tell with exquisite detail individual sections like rows of an orchestra and almost individual instruments like i was dumbfounded i haven't been that impressed with an iem in this price point ever but 
and an IM in general since the Shure SE846 or the Oppo PM1s. I mean, that is a lot. And like I said, for these to retail for 800 and give that level, that says a lot. Top tips to use Sennheiser. Talking about the individual aspects of sound, the treble on them, on the IA-100s are very, very clean. They're accurate, they're full of life, they're competent, they're energetic. They just flow very, very nicely. Um, I don't know really how to put words into it, but I think you need to turn the volume up full sparkle. The mids are beautiful. I can't say anything more about the mids. There's no negatives. They're stunning. They're awesome. Perfect. The bass, now I can see people getting turned off on the bass on these. It is not bad by no means. No means whatsoever. It's just not heavy. And primarily what I mean people getting turned off is the bass heads. The bass on these in the upper bass, in the upper mid range, just flows seamlessly, i.e. adds that nice warmth I mentioned earlier. But the mid bass, or the bass, I think is very neutral, but maybe slightly recessed. And what I mean by this is when I'm listening to a rock song that I know has a heavy bass hit to it, these produce the accuracy of that bass, but reminded me a lot of the PM3s with its being accurate, but not really giving you that oomph you'd want to have which translates severely into the sub-bass. The, those who are expecting that sub-bass feels, you're not gonna get that with these. Um, they do exist, there is sub-bass um, reverberation there, but not to the degree that I think some people might be expecting, expecting or wanting. Um, to butt the sum of these up guys, they, I cannot recommend the IE800s enough. Zeinheiser, you did a absolutely wonderful job on these, and these are absolutely befitting to have your distinction of flagship IEM. Especially at you only keeping them at the $800 price point. This says a lot. This either, these are very competently made. I am very impressed. And I would recommend these to anyone who wants, who's like myself, and you like a more of a relaxing sound. But these are still very accurate, so these can be used for critical listening. Um, but guys, that about sums up my review of the Zeinheiser IE800s. I do have to give, again, a big shout out to both the Zeinheiser and my good friend Bill Petit for setting me up with a review time of this. It means a lot, guys. Thank you so much. But if you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you have any questions or would like to just chat with me, just hit me up in the comment section, guys. I reply to everyone and I... I'm going to have a good conversation with you. It ain't just like a simple, hey, thanks for commenting. No, I like talking to you guys. But if you really like my content, guys, tighten smash that subscribe button. Keep yourself on the field in. But as always, guys, my name's Army Firedog, and most importantly, stay safe.